Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Environment test plan. I will show that Sri. Once we complete this, then I'll show you how to do the linking. Okay. Then, can you help me today with the quality center installation? Um, Syed, installation I do not know to do. If I would have known it, I would have you know helped you by now, right? So what I can do is I can write an email to Shilpi on this. That's what I can do. Uh, sure, um, Abdul. Now it is a weekend, right? So I will upload all the recordings. I have uploaded three for your session. The last three I have uploaded. I'll upload all of them and I'll send it at once. When creating a test set, do we put the login and okay? When creating the test set, do we put the login and summary in the same set? Yes. Okay. Because it is a test set, right? Test set means what? Group of test cases. So you can put login test case, summary test case in one. Okay. Vinita, then Preeti, can you show flow? Sure. Field detected by must be currently uh, set to currently logged in user. Yes, that is true, Pavni. If you want the report, the defects manually in the Excel sheet, do we mention all these things? Yes, Shri, you got to mention it. If you are using the Excel sheet, all these fields have to be written manually. Okay. Then, quality center for regression testing, do we need to write the test cases again? Yes, Jaya, you got to write it again. Okay. How do we check that we have tested all our test cases? This is a very good question. Okay. I'll note it down here. Then, better you explain everything once more. <laughs> right, Jopi? Test lab, we are prioritizing the test case and then executing, implement and execute. Yes, Jyoti, that is correct. Okay, see if your quality center has expired, if it is not um, opening, then you know, right? What I did here, I changed the system date to the date when the quality center was active, okay? Yes, Vanilla, you got to check out. Okay, I'm writing your questions here. Let me answer them all at once. Do we have to remember all the fields in the each module? Okay. Okay, shall we end the questions over here? No, I'm good. No problem. I can answer the questions. I don't have no problem. Do we write the test script? Uh, I saw the function for test script. Okay. Huh. Whatever you ask, okay, I know it will be within this quality center. You mentioned might create a problem with QTP when you change the date. Okay, right with you. Okay. So are you done with your questions? Shall I start with my answers?
Only these many questions? Okay, okay. Enough, okay. We will uh, start answering the questions one by one. Okay. See, Sayyad, your quality center installation, okay. I do not know to install. Okay, we have, again, Vanilla. Okay, first finish your questions. We have to write the test case only for the fields. We have to fill it. Okay. Hmm. Your questions are over, then I will start the answers. Over? Okay, Vidya, this is out of scope, okay? You got to write an email on this. This is not related to the current session. Okay, are you done? Shall I start with my answers? Okay, most of them you know it, okay? Hmm. Okay, now put a hold on your questions. Let me answer all the questions. Then you should ask the question, okay? Okay, see here everybody. Um, Sayyid, regarding your uh, quality center installation, okay, I do not know to do the installation. If I would have known it, I would have, you know, finished it by now, okay. So, at most what I can do is, for now, for your practice, I can give my computer for your practice, okay. Alright, everybody. Yeah, right. I know, Sayyid, it is difficult to work for you. You do one thing, you take my computer and you work on it, okay. Then. In the weekend, I do not have any classes, so you can take and work. So, how do we check that we have tested all our test cases? Okay. So, go to the test plan module here. Everybody. Okay. See, I am going to the test plan module. And then, let me go to this Verizon Wireless Store Locator. Um, okay, sorry. What was your question? How to check whether we have tested all the, okay, sorry, you got to go to the uh, test lab over here, right? And when you go to the test lab, select this entire, um, okay, you can select this Verizon, okay, or select the entire test set. Do you see here we have a filter? Set the filter, okay, and what do you want? You want all the test cases that have passed, right? Then. That is nothing but the status. So do the filtering here on the status. So you want all the ones that are passed. Click here. And then select the ones that are passed. Click on OK. You will get all the test cases that have passed. Similarly you want the ones that are not passed. Again go to the filter over here. Set the filter. And then say the ones that are not passed. Is it clear this question? You can use a filter, okay? Let's say you want the one that have failed. You can go for it. Is it clear everybody? Somebody had this question. I don't know who is it, but I have noted down. Okay? Is this clear? Okay. You have to set a filter and check it. When planning a test set, can I mention the test data? Okay. There are two ways. In the test plan, when we are creating the test cases, if you want to mention the test data, there are two ways. Okay. One thing is when you are writing the design steps. Okay. So, do you see we have a description over here. So, you can write the test data within the description only. This is one best option that I always like. Okay. You can write the test data here in the description only. Another option is select this description column and do you see there is something called as P here. P is nothing but parameter. Click on this. It is nothing but insert a parameter. So let's say the zip code you want to insert it as a parameter you can insert it. Okay. If you are inserting like this you are allowing the tester to enter the zip code on his own. So I am not giving the test data here. I am adding it like a parameter. So when he starts the execution, okay, then the quality center is going to ask him to enter the zip code. See here, I will repeat again. Do you see P here? 
select this description okay I'll select this one do you see P here P plus Preeti click on the P plus enter the parameter name that's it clear everybody so these are the two ways either write it directly in the description or you can go for the parameter whichever you want one more time vanilla sure anything for you insert parameter it is so simple okay just a click on a button parameter here enter the name of the parameter click on okay okay I can enter anything let's enter vanilla okay click on okay is this clear vanilla anybody wants once more once more yeah parameter is nothing but the test data okay okay then okay and coming to your BVA and um, okay that is next question okay wait that is next question so this is cleared I'll remove it this is the next question what about the boundary value analysis are we not doing in the QTP the answer is no we are not doing it okay we are not entering any boundary value analysis any equivalence class partition in our quality center we are going to prepare a separate document for that okay we are not entering it here because QT quality center is not allowing okay is this clear we have to prepare a separate document for that okay do we have to remember all the fields for each module okay this is not your choice because the moment you start using the quality center automatically you start remembering everything you need not mug up you need not buy heart it okay the more and more you use you will become familiar with all the fields you will automatically start remembering them even if I say please forget you will not forget it clear okay it's all the practice then do we need to write the test scripts here yes okay I'll show you this one but for that you should learn the QTP okay oh for the interview okay we will come to your interview question also okay see for the interview also it is the same thing right if you have practiced it you will obviously remember it right if you have practiced it well Chitra then definitely you remember it there they may ask okay so uh, like um, how did you get all the past like you know you are giving me the questions over here these are nothing less than the interview questions okay so if they ask these questions if you have the practice on it you can definitely answer all these questions okay don't get worried about what questions they might ask because if you have the you know practice on it if you know the quality center thoroughly no matter what they ask you can answer it okay then writing of the test script yes do you see there is a test script module over here this is something which has to be integrated with your QTP okay but currently I have not connected it to the QTP first we got to learn the QTP right and this is called as a test director the old name of the quality center is test director the reason for that name is okay and this test script is nothing but it is connecting to your testing tool like QTP so here what happens the QTP icon appears you click on this and it will take you to the QTP means it is directing you to the QTP okay it is not going to do any automation testing here in the quality center no automation testing will not be done here when you click on this window it will simply direct you to the QTP here you got to record run whatever I mean create the script in the QTP when you are done save it it will come back over here after you run the results will get logged in here automatically okay so we are not going to do any automation here your quality center will direct you to the testing tool that you are using the testing happens there and whatever the result is it is getting logged in over here clear everybody okay so once you are done with the QTP you can uh, come back here and check it and then the test script you can add okay so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are you will find them 
on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com On our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers Also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class the demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information If you still have more questions please feel free to call us call us at 770 777 this is a united states number if you're calling from the uk call us at 020 337 you can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.